This is the giant RV, Glen Helen National. Moto number two is about to get underway. This is a showdown we've been waiting for, David Bailey. Mike I'd Gillespie. Like to be Mike right now, in between Walker and Langston. And what happened to Grant Langston? He got booted in moto number one, had to enter the safest place. Yeah, that's pretty safe right there. I like that statement. Like, Grant, come on. <laughs> <laughs> a decision was made based on what happened there. Anytime you don't gain a position on the racetrack, but, but uh, you know, advance yourself is, to some degree, I suppose, it's a five-second penalty. So that moved Grant Langston out of the lead. The, win, the moto win goes to Mike Alessi, and now the points is 10 going into the final moto. The Suzuki results had him only dropping down one spot, though. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. Well, he was, you know, it's a five-second deal, and then... Uh, and he still had enough of an edge over Villapoto to hang on to second place. So that was three extra points for Michael Alessi. And I'll tell you what, man, the nerves were crazy in that first moto. It's at a peak right now at the starting line. And the Honda starting grid. Find your favorite rider, Mike Brown. Gets 16 picks. That's how he finished in moto number one. thing is, is that Tedesco's got so much help. He's got four teammates. The six four, four, four. It seems like the whole pack is pro circuit. And, and uh, Mike's got really just his brother, Jeff. See if he can help out. And watch Michael Alessi. See the orange bike in between that sea of green. And he gets into length a little bit. And then Walker, bumper pull going down that whole shot straight away. And he, I think even Andrew Short tried to throw a boot in there. That was sketchy. If, I, if you're Mike, you're mad already. But he swapped out, got in. I'm saying my foot peg beats your front tire every time. Yeah, yeah. You take the lines you want. They, they roughed him up a little bit, but they beat him out of the hole and had the opportunity to do that to him. And Ryan Villapoto, the young rookie, gets his first hole shot in AMA professional motocross racing here at Glen Helen. And he has a teammate just behind, Ivan Tedesco, going for that championship. Amazing. Jeff yeah. what One guy, one kid can help out Mike and his brothers in third, ready to do so. Yeah, you know what? It just shows how much of a clutch performance uh, of family that Tony is. You know, you, you can agree or disagree with some of the tactics and the intensity that, that uh, he has woo, brought these kids up with, but it's for moments like these, you know? Stepping up all the time, just putting a move on Tedesco right there. Tedesco is wise to back out of it, Robbie, and Jeff is in position right here to help his brother. Unbelievable. Of the one moto of the year when he needs to be up front, he is. And that's what he needed to do. Now, I, he may be faster than Ryan Villapoto, and I'm not saying that's the case, but I don't see him passing Villapoto. I see him trying to hold up Tedesco. That's all he's got to do. A smart man would do that. I, no team tactics or not. You do that for your brother, you do that for your teammate. Man, he has, he's stepped up and he's done what it takes. His brother can be back there and can see all this brewing. And also, Ryan Villapoto has a chance at his first motocross overall. Yeah, he wins early to start doing that, Matt. But basically, all he's got to do is beat Langston in his moto and Alessi, and he should get the overall. He just wants to stay clear of all this stuff, I'm sure. And, and the farther back he puts uh, Tedesco and Alessi, the better, because the points gaps are smaller. And now Mike Alessi has charged his way up inside the top five, currently in fourth, gets by Grant Langston. Now we'll see if uh, we get any payback from Langston. Remember, he got booted the moto before. There's Ryan Villapoto starting to get pressure from Jeff Alessi. Alessi taking that inside line. We saw his brother take a moment ago. Alessi not backing down. Neither is Villapoto. They're trying to win this. Oh, and you hear the crowd going down as Tedesco and Mike Alessi. Ivan gives him a shove saying, hey, we're standing on my bike. Go pick up your own. The championship is right here. Who can pick the bike up first? Tedesco. Just needs to stay within 10 points of Mike Alessi. Alessi needs to get 10 points on Alessi. Oh, uh, that's not going to happen. And the look bottom. at Walker. Walker has done a U-turn on the track and come back to help his teammate. He's going, hey, Mike, why is Mike make progress? Get your, get your own bike. Leave my teammate alone. So it looks like Tedesco's, Tedesco's bike, though. He looked like he almost... He kept his running. That's what I was going to say. That's he took his fair. time and just kept it running where Mike was... He hit the panic button there a little bit. He shouldn't have been standing on Tedesco's bike, but the bike on the bottom of the pack. Hey, you know what? Someone who cheats to cheat is a cheater. Someone who cheats to win is a competitor. And you know, I think Mike can look at that one day and be like, well, I shouldn't have done that. But he wants to win. He went down in flames. Yeah, he can't fire that. Boy, that crowd is cheering like crazy. I mean, everybody, you know they say that car racing, everybody comes with a crash. They got one right there, but that was a full-on bonsai move. 
just out, out of He pitch. had the inside, though, Robbie. When you have the inside, if you're Tedesco, you should know that as well. He already laid up a little bit when, Les, when Jeff had the inside on him. And, and yeah, granted, Mike came into that corner really hot, but championship was on the line. He had the inside, and he made the contact. I think in hindsight, he, he probably would have rather made that contact and tried to make the corner himself. Uh, at least chance not, you know, putting Tedesco down, but not himself. It, it just, it was a lot worse than what I think he was, he was really meaning to do. Totally oblivious to the fact all that was going on behind him. Ryan Villapoto checking out of this second photo. He is right now, at least. I mean, you, you talked about it at the top of the show, looking at the practice time, just how fast he was. Look at that, nobody really behind him right now. He's pretty fluid, too. He takes good lines, and, you know, he, he, he's proving that Podium last week is no clue. He's going to be there a lot. Looking for his first overall victory, and he has a chance to do so. Stay with us. This OLN telecast presented by Parts Unlimited and presenting a, a throwdown right now is Ryan Villapoto, the young rookie on the Kawasaki in front of Grand Langston. And there's Mike Alessi. Had championship hopes to maybe go by the wayside, collided. With Ivan Tedesco, could not get his bike refired. You know, he had the inside come into the corner. If I were in his shoes, I would have made the same uh, move, aggressive, and try to, to uh, mess up Tedesco. I wouldn't have stood on his bike. Yeah. Tedesco's going, come on. He already ran into me. He could have got his bolt hurt. Now you're standing on my bike. Look at Mike. He's even pulling his bike closer so he can still stand on the front tire of Tedesco. Meanwhile, he's going, hey, mine's running. Do whatever it is you're going to do. And the whole well, time, go. if he could have got his up and going a little bit fast instead of worried about Tedesco, things would have been a lot better for him. Well, there's the thing, basically, Tedesco understands here. He's like, hey, as long as I'm down, what's the rush? So is the lefty, and, you know, that's all I got to do is stay anywhere near him for the rest of this moto and the championship's mine. So the pressure is... Now that he realizes he's okay and the bike is still rideable to the finish. Look at that. that it's that left boot that is kind of there in, in front of Tedesco's bike when all he's got to do is come <laughs> across. Mike just wanted to win, you know, and I'm, I'm not siding with him and saying that that was right, but the intentions going, hey, I, whatever I got to do to try to win for the, with all that's on the line and, uh, you know, the form in which he did it, I, I can't exactly condone, but I appreciate the, the competitive spirit. I mean, look, Langston, the first moto, completely cut the racetrack. But yeah, I got one for you. Way. I got one for you right here. Matt Walker. He comes over and helps Tedesco. That could be bad news for uh, for Tedesco. Because the AMA is going to say, say, hey, he was receiving outside yeah, assistance. He thought better of what he was probably initially going to do. You know, yeah. Get in there and rough him up a bit. All he did was go, hey, you know what? Go pick up your own bike. Leave my teammate alone. Yeah, he, he can see there's something shady going on right it's there. Nice but for Tedesco to know you got a teammate like that that's willing to do whatever it takes to make your life a little easier. But what a crazy scene. Now Lanks is starting to pressure the kid. Look at Bill. It looks like he's, you know, he's got the eighth grade class, let him out of school so he can come race today. <laughs> that's wrong. That's just showing you're old. I mean, he's, he's driving a, nowadays. He's what are you talking kid. about? He's a kid. a young kid. And they see a picture of him. You look at him on the bike. He looks so small and he's racing very big right now. I'm impressed. I was impressed last week. This is uh, taking it up another notch. Yeah, when well, you have a, a world champion behind you, a single digit a, a AMA Motocross national champion behind you, when you see those single digits come into your picture, you know you're doing something. I mean, you really have this race. Three digit guys are faster than the single digit guys. At times, at times. Well, your your national champion here in just a moment. I just go sport the three digit, the same number he will wear at the Motocross the Nations in uh, France here in a couple of weeks. For Ryan Villapoto, you got to give the kid props. You talked about it in previous shows that he was groomed for this, and it was actually good that he got the beat down by Mike Gillespie growing up because it showed him the other side, getting beat and having to persevere and come back. Yeah, always having to ride to the very end of the moto, never getting whole shots and being able to cruise. You know, Gillespie, obviously, he, he beat him fair and square. He realized he had to get the start and have that ability to cruise the end of the motos, but I think it served Villapoto well. You know, I'll probably beat this horse to death a little bit, but I just think I feel it's important and, uh, you know, for times like this right now where he's got to fight late in the moto. The same note, but uh, what do you think about James Stewart? You know, missed the, the 250 class. He, he's getting a taste of the medicine as well. He he dominated in motocross these season. Hey, Ricky's as fast as uh, everybody says he is. Now you're seeing Villapoto, you know. He's already tasted that just on a lower level. Bubba never had that happen. Look at Langston. Wow, from the outside. Hey, he got a little help from uh, Villapoto right there messing up that straightaway stun, but he put himself in position. 
to, to make a pass from the outside. Now, surprised me really going back to the village to the Tedesco Alessi thing that the Tedesco raced. Alessi into that corner from the outside let Langston just did it. Just, you, to do that against Mike Alessi in this final moto with the championship on the line, that, that surprised me a little bit. But So maybe not the smartest move though. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, I don't think Tedesco figured that Alessi was going to pin it that much to try to beat him to that corner. But That's because he didn't see what he did to Langston. <laughs> he doesn't have this to replay like we do. If he would have saw what he did to Langston, you would have known. Don't go in the outside of the third. He's with... lucky though. He's real lucky. Tedesco, that is. In the first moto, the bike was that he didn't get hurt, and then again with that collision with Alessi, I mean, Alessi hit him hard. I think uh, he could have turned a little bit more, but, uh, you know. Like, like on the outside. you got to consider who we're talking about and, and what he's done over the years to try to win races. I mean, you do whatever it takes. Thanks, he gets in there really hot from the outside. Villapoto just goes, all right, well, you know. The way you're catching me, I'm not going to go ahead and take a bunch of chances and screw up a potential podium, so he's riding smart right now. Ivan Tedesco in 13th place, and that 13th will be good enough to clinch his first AMA Motocross National Championship. Outdoors looking good for this so-called indoor rider. Scooter. The waning moments of moto number two of the motocross life, aka the 125. There's Paul Carpenter and Mike Brown going at it. You talked about four teammates for Tedesco. There's the fourth one right there, Carpenter. Yeah. Had a pretty good day to wrap up the season. You know what? I'll take a second and just say I think they did a pretty awesome job with the racetrack. I like the layout. And uh, it made it a little bit better for the spectators in places, too, to watch. They made some changes to these corners after Saturday. And it all came together pretty good. Jody Wise did a great job at this place. You come out here and you look at it on Thursdays, and it looks so good for the Nationals. They really step it up well. Jody, a motocross action fame, a great ambassador of the sport. And there's another great ambassador, Mike Brown, is losing his the nation's ride to Ivan Tedesco on the Kawasaki. Speaking of Tedesco, let's go to his mechanic with Aaron. John, talk about a stressful situation. How many years was taken off Ivan's life right before that second moto started? I don't know. We were really stressed. He just he knew what he had to do coming in. I don't know what happened off the start, but what I heard, it was pretty stupid on the lefty's part. I don't know what really happened. But, uh, right now, he's going to win the championship if he stays up. You know, the, the pressure he's dealing with today, the crazy that went down with the crash in the first moto, the takeout in the second moto. This is pretty much... You know, I, in my opinion, great practice for what's going to happen in a couple of weeks in France, the motocross the nations, because that's you're just as nervous there. It's basically a championship all in one day, except you don't want to let your teammates down, and you don't let, want to let down the United States. So this, this is perfect for Wyndham, and Carmichael's been in that situation before. Ivan hasn't, and this is just a small taste. Yeah, and he's an AMA champion now, motocross champion. This, this race the first time he's been out of the top ten all year, but he's going to be going up against world champions at, at a, a, a bigger level. I mean, yeah, you're seeing some a, funky stuff over there too. <laughs> you think of, you know, Alessi's out of his mind. You know, you get some Europeans over there that are sick and tired of the U.S. guys winning it all, and think that we're just going to come back in there and win it all after some, uh, you know, being absent. And you, you can't put anything. To, I don't know. I never trusted those guys over there. I've been run off the track a couple of times and you know my dad always said do unto others before they do unto you and all across, <laughs> I like times that. that worked well and uh switching back to the old format with 125 250s and open you see grant lakes and he's going to take a big oh, oh and michael lessie we were going to talk about how he lost his championship in losing separating himself from the bike right there unless he going down that's not good and it's almost it's over too the race is pretty much over and you know, I said earlier, it went down in flames. He went down in flames a few Man. times today. I hope he's all right. Grant Langston, we went to cut back to show you the winner of the moto. Grant Langston, a happy time for him. Good taking debut another. for that 06 motorcycle as well. Yes, it is, on the Kawasaki, taking his fourth oh. overall of the year. And we're going back to Alessi, and Alessi gets landed on. Mike Alessi. Yeah, we don't even need to show him anymore. Every time this last lap, something bad has happened. Ivan Tedesco is going to take the championship with his 11th place He finish. was in a blind spot. There's Tedesco, oh, championship. What a day. What a relief. We'll get back with more on Michael Lassie. <laughs> but chucks the bike like, oh, finally. John Bishop, the whole crew. That's missing. how you want to win, down to the wire like that. It makes you tougher. It makes you appreciate it more as well. And taking another look back at how it could have gone a lot worse. 
the Honda highlight had a, had a Honda coming into it. That just bike closes. shoved right into him. Alessi going for that first moto win, runs Langston off. It's good save by Langston not to go down in that and then re enter the tire. track in the safe spot. Yeah. I don't know about that. And then, then the, uh, uh, I don't know if this is comedy or drama. I, I don't know what it is, but Alessi standing on Tedesco's bike to try to impede Dramedy. his progress. Dramedy. Dramedy. It, it didn't work. It's good to see uh, Alessi you know, make the statement he made this, this year, but I think we're going to see a lot more of him. But moving on, Tedesco definitely did his job in his final year in this class. Suzuki results page has Grant Langston to Lapoto in short top three, but it's Ivan Tedesco with the championship. Well, he was finally able to do it. He was able to prove all the critics wrong. He's not just a Supercross specialist. He just wrapped up his first outdoor national title. Ivan, what is going through your head right now? How does it feel? Uh, no, I'm actually kind of dizzy. I think I hit my head when Alessi uh, ran into me, but you know, it feels good to be up here. Uh, no one ever thought I could have done it when coming into the season. I pulled it off, and you know, today was a crazy day. Uh, Alessi was getting dirty, and, and that second moto, he just pulled a stupid move and took us both out and was trying to... You know, he was standing on my bike and trying to push me over and all kinds of dumb stuff, but I was able to pull it off, so I'm happy. Langston with a victory. Villapoto almost had the win here. Andrew Short in third. Good ride by Ryan Sipes in there, one of the top privateers all year long in the series. Jeff Alessi finishes his 10th spot. Impressive ride here at Glen Helen. Go down to Langston. You had to muscle your way through a roller coaster season. You've been plagued with injuries all season long. How much does it mean to you to go out on top? Oh, I mean, it means a lot. You know, that's obviously what we always go every weekend to do is try and win. And, uh, you know, I didn't win the championship. And, uh, you know, I've only got myself to blame through some bad races and just some inconsistency. But, uh, hey, you know, I... Uh, to win the final round on the new bike is just awesome for everyone. Great to see you back out there. Congratulations on a great season overall. Thank you very much. Impressive debut for the 06 Kawasaki's, and it's Ivan Tedesco with the championship. Unfortunately for Cowie, they lose him to Suzuki for next year.